Right, okay, so this is the Banagon, the Type 25, um, owned by Rob here. And this vehicle is, how old is it, Rob? It's a HH, so it's 1990. There you go. So that's... Uh, 20 years old. 20 years old, yes, it's quite right. Uh, so what we're doing at the moment, we're just basically stripping off stuff that um, would actually get in the way of the roller. And in this case, it's the two front spot lamps. Unlike spraying, where you have to actually mask up everything, it really is just a case of um, running masking tape in relevant places so you don't get it around window rubbers, things like that. These uh, washer jets and windscreen wiper spindles, uh, the air, all the rubbers off of that, and uh, all the front grills. So, on to preparation. Um, what we're doing here, we're sanding the uh, the uh, bonnet, and what we've actually done, we've soaked the vehicle down with um, you know ordinary washing up liquid in a bucket, and just keep the whole thing wet. You can sand dry, but the uh, wet and dry paper soon clogs up, and we found that actually just wetting down the vehicle first, not the sander, I might point out, um, helps loosen it. Areas like this at the front have actually got to be done by hand. There's no other way you can get in here. And, uh, and it's worth paying attention to these little areas and uh, we'll come on to rust treatment in a moment but the central thing is to get all of these areas matte now if you look at the bonnet here which we've sanded down a great deal of it if you look the light where the light catches it and reflects it these are areas that need to be sanded down if you don't provide a good key for the paint it won't adhere and it'll be peeling off again before you know it so uh, that's what we're doing at the moment, we're looking at these. And these other areas here on this um, front quarter panel, there's a slight dent there, you can almost see it in the reflection. So literally we take some filler and fill it. And that'll be sanded down smooth and blend in with the rest of it. Much of this is by feel. All these little areas like this that need a dressing, sometimes you can get away with just a little coat of primer and flat it down other areas like the aerial here which needed a little bit more work so it's a case of going around and and checking all these little areas here at the front on the indicators we're using Vactan um, incredibly versatile stuff we use it a great deal it's uh, deceptive actually because it goes on white and uh, rapidly turns a, a, a black colour if it uh, comes into contact with rust or metal Again, we're running it along the front seam here. This is actually two panels spot welded together. And just prior to painting, it seemed a good idea to actually get in there and deal with it. So we're giving that a, a nice coat along the front. And that takes about half an hour or an hour to dry, something like that, depending on. Areas like this, best done by hand, well it's the only way you can do it actually, but important to get all these tiny areas so that the paint will stick. Again we're getting very close on these side panels now, a little bit more work just to take the shine off. And finally, removal of any panels that uh, can come off and make it a lot easier to paint. A few taps with the rubber mallet. And hey presto. And on to masking. <laughs> 